Yo, this actually looks awesome. We should just go to a tattoo shop after this and just get him to go over it. What's up, everyone? Uh, it's see, Peter. See the uh, the issue is, you need to have more bass in the voice when you do it. What's up, everybody? Not not so much. What's up? Like you need the. What's up, legends? I'm here with Peter McKinnon. For only those few who don't know him, <laughs> this guy is an amazing photographer and cinematographer. So here's your hat back, which is awesome. Uh, yeah. Take my hat. <laughs> I'm sorry, my YouTube channel. I bet a thousand people have start a YouTube channel Maybe. or are about thinking of starting a YouTube channel. What's your best tips or advice for myself and for anyone out there? I had so many friends be like, nah, YouTube, there's too many people on YouTube. You, you missed that boat. And they think, you know, thank, thankfully I didn't listen to those friends because if I didn't, I wouldn't be making videos. Yeah. I'd just be like, ah, you know what? Maybe they're right. Maybe, they're, maybe it is too saturated. But I tried so many things. I've, I've been doing so many different things my whole life. Always been a photographer. And it's funny because it was, it was in front of me the whole time, but I think it was just like finally accepting that like, dude, this this is what you're good at. Like, pick it up, start shooting, and like be relentless with it. So, you've had a crazy last year. You started out in 2017. You posted your first video. Yeah. What's the secret behind getting one million in less than a year? Okay, number one, this is what I struggle with the most. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. You get in your head way too much. I get in my own head way too much. I think myself out of ideas. I think myself out of doing things. Uh, I think myself out of being productive because I'm just thinking. I'm just sitting here thinking about how I can do something. Just stop, stop it, and get going. And I know everybody says that, just get started as a Roberto Blake thing. You're just like, create something today, even if it sucks, mine's done is better than perfect. Everyone's saying the same thing, just in different ways, because everyone has struggled with the same thing. Like, we're not trying to sit here and tell you that like we've figured it out, we haven't. No. But these are the things that we tell ourselves and help other people with to help them get started, to help you get started. And that is my biggest advice, is just stop thinking about it. Like if you have a good idea, just do it. And then if it sucks, that's fine, because you still got started, right? Mm -hmm. So that is uh, that is my biggest advice, is stop thinking. Second is be be consistent. Be consistent and persistent. Those rhyme, that's great. I actually like that a lot. That'd be a good t-shirt, trademark, that's mine. But being consistent is key. Uh, and I like that too. Let's say Netflix didn't exist, right? And we still had to watch TV shows uh, weekly. Let's say an episode of 24 came on back when it was in the heyday, and that was on a Monday. And then you're looking forward to next Monday when 24 is coming back, but you know what? They just skipped five weeks, and then 24 was on. And then it was on for like four days in a row, and then it was gone for a month. You'd be like, what is happening? You, you just can't fall in love with it. You can't get into it. You can't get on board. So consistency, being consistent with your posting times and, and committing to doing this and starting that channel is, a, is something that's really going to help you guys out, really going to help your, uh, your channel. Now that you're so famous, it looks like everything you're doing is, is just working out. Is failure still part of your vocabulary? I think if you don't fail, you're not doing it right, to be honest. I think you should be failing uh, often. But it's important. It, it teaches you it limits and, and shows you like the limits you need to, to pass. If nobody ever made mistakes, life would be really boring. That's true. Yeah. If you only try to succeed, then you're limiting yourself not to fail, which your failure could eventually become Lead your to greatest 100%. success. 100%, yeah. yeah. Never be afraid of not getting it right or failing or not getting the part or not getting the job. Like, it's just one more notch in your belt, but you're still gonna wear it. That, it's a long piece of leather. Mm. There's tons of room for more notches. Nobody sees the, like, 17 plus years of work that I've done before today where you finally stumbled upon a video of mine. What happened before you started your YouTube that motivated you to start that? Yeah, I, I owned and operated a leather business. And I had like a full on, in this room, I had like a massive leather workshop. I had it all. It was me trying to just find an outlet for my creativity. I went as hard as I could because I thought, all right, like maybe this will be my new career. Maybe I will be a leather smith and I'm perfectly fine with that. There was a really cool quote in the Bible that said, lead a quiet life and work with your hands. And like I had that printed on a really cool wall flag and I had it on my wall and I just loved the whole like maker's life. But uh, it was just like a, a business wasn't working. I, I was selling stuff, but I, from a standpoint of like a healthy business, it just wasn't doing very well. One day I came home and I saw my camera sitting on my desk and I thought, what are you doing? Like, 
that's the answer right there. Like you should be focusing your skills on what you're like just naturally God given talented with, which was the camera. So that day I decided to close down the business. I sold it off and I started to make videos. And I think it was like less than a week after that, I made a video called eight camera hacks in 90 seconds. Yeah, that's, that's the video that kicked it off. So yeah. Yeah. also really interesting is you didn't just wait for people to see or find your video. What did you do? It didn't pop right away. So I made a list of like every possible website that like reposts articles or blog posts or news posts or media or photography, video, like anything that could possibly be related to like posting content online. And I spent the entire day and I sent that video to probably like 200 different websites. And then lo and behold, one, one site posted it and then two sites posted it and then seven sites posted it and then it was everywhere. And then my friends were texting me like, dude, this video is, it's on Uncrate, it's on Dig, it's on, it's, it was on some like TV show in Toronto. Like it was everywhere. I love it. It's like, yeah. first you hustled, <clears throat> you informed yourself like, where should I send it to? You sent out like hundreds of emails just to all of them, not waiting for them to find your video, but you also had great content. Yeah, and I think it's like what you said, even if you don't like it. And Stefan yeah. says, you know, create something today, even if it sucks. Uh, I'm, I'm a big believer in that. I think that's really, really important. Uh, and what a lot of people don't know is like, I, I don't really like any of the videos I put out. Like I, I almost would go as far as saying like, I hate a lot of the videos I put out. I'm almost not happy with every single thing that I post. I'm proud of them because like, I acknowledge like technically they're good, but personally, I push myself so hard that I'm like, that could have been so much better, dude. Like just try harder, do better. But Stefan comes along and he's those, one of those friends that reminds me like, nah man, like it's good, like you're creating, that's what's important. Like even if you think it sucks or it actually sucks, that's a moot point, that doesn't actually make a difference. It's the fact that you're creating. Yeah. All right, let's do a few would you rather questions. Ooh, love that. So, would you rather rob a bank or win the lottery? Rob a bank. Snowmobile or jet ski? Snowmobile. Instagram or Twitter? Instagram forever for life. Would you rather watch movies or just TV? Ah, TV, man. TV, TV has stepped it up massive in the past like five years. Like starting with like Breaking Bad and now like the Netflix series. Mm. I haven't been to the movies since my kid was born. Like the last movie I saw in theaters, the lie, I saw Star Wars, but <laughs> before that was Deadpool. Oh, yeah. I've been ages. Like, I don't even care, dude. Netflix is so good now. It's true. This is not sponsored by Netflix. Black coffee or coffee with milk? Uh, um, it's hard. That's really hard. That's kind of like a trick question. But if, okay, let's just break it down. Like, let's just like straight up regular coffee with milk or black. I'm going to say with milk. Just like to sit and enjoy it. Yeah. Don't judge me. Mountains or an island? Mountains for sure. Um, car or bicycle? Uh, bicycle. Yeah, I mean, it'd be fun. Helicopter or uh, airplane? Uh, helicopter. Hang my feet out, 100%. First class or a private jet? <sighs> uh, I've never been on a private jet. I'm gonna say first class. First class or no class? Winter or summer? Uh, ooh, mm, summer. Summer? Yeah. Shorts or pants? Uh, I don't own a single pair of shorts. I've been wearing pants for like 10 plus years. Shorts disgust me. Absolutely hate them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but you like summer? Yeah, hey, I still really yeah, hot. Yeah, skinny jeans for life, man. I don't even care. Skinny jeans. The tighter, the better. <laughs> PC or Mac? Oh, pff, come on, come on, Mac. Obviously. Should I tattoo your arm? Like, yeah, dude. Whatever you want. What are you gonna write? Leave that up to me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Don't draw anything obscene. Just saying. Wait, how are you gonna read it? How am I gonna get rid of it? Is what I want to know. No, actually, I'm just gonna think of how am I gonna do it reverse so you can read it. I don't need to read it. No, you do. It's coming off right after he does it. <laughs> Are you drawing backwards right now? Yeah. Does that say Be Bieber? I saw it the N before the, the U. Yo, this actually looks awesome. We should just go to a tattoo shop after this and just get him to go over it. Look at this guy with a sharpie, just backwards. I would actually get this <laughs> tattoo, that's what's funny. All right, thank you, Peter. That thank was you. awesome. Yeah, man. And if you haven't already, subscribe to his channel. Oh, this guy. If, actually, if you like this video, please. Oh, no, I, I got it. Okay, this. I got this. You, you right. Hit that like button if you like this video. Smash it if that's something that you're into, 2018 style. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, and. We'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> Did you drink my coffee?